Hey guys, welcome to SS Unitech So see this side and this is continuation of SQL Server real time scenarios. So today we are going to see about the concat underscore ws function. So this function was introduced in 2K17 and today we are going to see what is the real time use of this function and how we can use that. So basically what concat underscore ws function does. So concat underscore ws function stands for the concatenate with the separator and it is a special type of concat function which is already available inside the SQL server. So the first argument is a separator and this, that separator could be used to separate the rest of the arguments. So the separator is added between the strings to be concatenated. The separator can be a string as can be the rest argument also be an string. So what it means? So as you can see in the below table on the left side, so it has three columns. First is the first name, second would be the middle name and third will be the last name. And here we are going to concatenate between all these three columns along with the separator that is dash. So in the full name you could see the cane, then dash, then j, then dash. And accordingly we are going to separate. If we are having any none values any one of these columns then we are going to ignore those null values for example in the second last row you could see the ss then null then you return in the last name so in the full name we could see only ss then dash then unit so here we don't have double dash so such type of scenarios can be handled directly by using concat underscore ws function so before going to use this function if we don't have this function then how we can achieve this output that we could see over here so for that go to the sql server and we'll see without using concat function and with using concat function so as you can see we are having adventure works 2k17 in our system and here we are having the person dot person table so in the person dot person table we could see we are having first name middle name and last name now the first thing that we want to concatenate between all these three so the first thing that we could use directly the first name plus middle name plus last name so this will be going to concatenate between all these three functions so first we need to correct this like that if we execute then we could see it is going to return the output but not as expected so we could add dash between these now again here we could see we are having the dash but if we are having any null value so it is going to ignore those null values so we need to check the null values so first go for the first name then middle name then last name so here we need to check is null if the first name along with the dash is having null. So it means if the first name is null then everything will be null and we want to return as without any character. Then we need to check for the middle name. So here we could check is null along with this dash. So put comma and we don't want to return anything from here then at the last again we need to check is null then we need to check if that value is null then we are going to return as nothing now let me try to execute this query so it is going to return the output as we are expecting as we could see over here we are having everything as per our expectation but here we need to do a lot of things that we, you could see so this is the first way by using this we could achieve this but we are also having the second way so let me copy this and paste in the new line and after that we could use the concat function that is available directly over here so this plus will be gone this plus will be gone and we need to close the bracket over here now let me try to execute this so this will again going to return the same value as per our expectation but as you can see we need to check the null values then we need to replace those null values so 
here we are doing a lot of calculations so we can directly use the concat underscore ws function to achieve this output so we could use the concat underscore ws so this is the function start the bracket so the first argument will be the separator so here what is the separator that is dash then put comma then we need to specify the column names those we want to concatenate so our first column name is the first name second column name is the middle name third column name will be last name and we can close the bracket and let me try to execute this query so here we could see we are going to return the same output as per our expectation but here we don't have any type of calculation inside the argument so as per the performance this will be very good instead of using the concat or is null for checking all these values or the parameters if we need to add any another parameter over here then we could directly add those so it will not have any problem we could directly as for example the title so title can be added over here and we can execute so it is going to return the value for the title as well here you could see because here we have the title like miss or mister so here we could see the titles so this is very easy to add any new columns or removing any columns and we don't need to check for the is null or null values and adding the separator so previously we had to do a lot of calculations but after introducing this function we can directly achieve this output so i hope guys you have understand how we can use the concat underscore ws function in the real time and if you like this video please subscribe our channel to get many more videos don't forget to press the bell icon to get the notification of our newly uploaded videos see you in the next video